I don't know if you know this, Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... All right, ladies and gentlemen, bear with me, because I am totally freaking out on a personal level. Yeah, I'm freaking out, and I'm barricading the doors. It's Halloween. That's what people like to do around Halloween is be scared, I think, because it's like... You'd be scared, and then there's tricks, and there's treats. So, I would like to continue to give you a couple thoughts on Asteroid TB145. So, things about it that I think are kind of weird. Like, first of all, they don't know if it is a comet or if it is an asteroid. So, I report they don't know what it is. So, it is officially a UFO. You'd think they could tell us by now, with all their fancy telescopes, whether or not it was a comet or an asteroid. But, oh no. We have no idea. We have to wait for it to pass by Earth and the moon, and then they will take radio video of it, and then show it to us, or something totally just like that. You might be asking yourself, photographs? Photos. Can I see them? Can I have them? Oh no, not from the pros. If you want photos, amateur is the only way to go. They've got a couple out, and it looks like a dot. Black dot, gray dot, some kind of dot. It makes you wonder, like, hey, pros. Can we get a photograph? If no, why not? I mean, I can only imagine why the pros can't take photos, or I guess more accurately, why they won't release them. Now, there's no need to panic. They say they have its orbit nailed down. It's zero threat to Earth, the people of Earth, and the moon. I gotta ask, what if it is a comet? Does it have a nucleus, a tail, and a coma? What do those nucleus, tails, and comas consist of? How big are they? How small are they? How much debris is in there? Oh my god. I get an electrical charge just thinking about it. But who knows? I guess we'll find out in just like 24-ish hours. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Comets, man. Those things get huge. Like Comet Ison was a third of the solar system or some shit. Okay, maybe I got that wrong, but it was giant. It was like 300 million miles. Uh, I'll put up a fancy thingy that shows you exactly how big Comet Ison's coma tail was. Now a lot of people say that that thing is made of just like fine dust putting on a sparkly show. And that may be true. All fine and dandy. But I'm just saying, if it is a comet, doesn't that make it way more interesting? Because then not only are we caring about the size, because the size is basically just a nucleus. Because an asteroid is like an unlit comet, if you will. At least that's my opinion. Science might mildly disagree. So, you know, maybe Earth could pass through the glittery tail of the comet. And we would get a wonderful, magical... Halloween skylight show. Wouldn't bet your money on it, though. Man, most of the time, situations like this, there's just disappointment. And yeah, there's supposed to be a Halloween meteor shower, so definitely good reasons to stand and stare at the sky on Halloween if you got nothing better to do. Um, and I hope nothing to do me happens. Man, but... So I plan to watch the skies on Halloween to see what mine eyes can see. I think overall, the message of this Halloween space rock is that Earth's asteroid defense system is pretty scary. And I say that as the jefe of Asteroid Fight Club. Not only is it scary, it is totally weird. So yeah, it's weirder and totally scarier than a nightmare on Elm Street. I'm in California right now. So I'll say a prayer for everybody. And everybody, please say a prayer for me. Comets are mostly made of ice. Whatever.